Okay, so this video is showing how the microphone feature works on the new Electrostim Axis. So, first thing we do is we select the microphone option or mode of use. Okay, so that's the microphone selected. So now basically, as you can see there, the, uh, the microphone is picking up my voice and the bars are showing basically the volume and uh, the attack of my voice. So depending on how quietly I speak or how loud I speak, um, they will respond. You can calibrate the microphone, so if you want it less sensitive or you want it more sensitive, depending on the environment you're in. Um, then if you go to the config menu, see the separate video, and that will show you exactly how to change the sensitivity of the microphone. So you can change the intensity as normal. Now one thing to notice, um, the beeper is actually enabled, but during microphone features, it is disabled by default because of course, the microphone will pick up the beeps of the, uh, of the audio ball transducer. So, so that feature is enabled, it's not broken. Um, anything else, when you start to play with the modes again, uh, the beeper will come back in. But of course, as you know, you can mute the beeper anyway. Uh, but it just doesn't work in audio modes. Okay, so um, you can see basically that the stimulation strength is changing in, in sympathy with my voice. And again, you've got the menu options as to which outputs are affected by the audio. We've got the inversion features again, and you can have it as such that the audio controls output one or output two or both. And you can have the inverting options, which is what you're seeing right now. So, uh, so that's it. That's the microphone feature. And you can see it's pretty sensitive. It uses uh, digital signal processing. So it's... Uh, it's a very good audio processing system. Okay, so that's the uh, microphone on the Electrostim Axis.